Parallax Occlusion Mapping is a complex texture-based approach to add more details for meshes. It will help to create your own games, movies or a quiz project that you make on Unreal Engine. With POM we get more depth visually than we could get just with normal maps because we get three-dimensional shapes without any additional vertices to meshes. Also you can use any textures including the ones from Quixel Bridge and put POM materials on anything. First, let's create material. Press the right mouse button in Content Browser and pick material. Now you should name it. Since it will be a master material, let's name it MPOM Bricks. We've got now a completely clean material and we need some textures. We can make our own textures, but our main subject of this video lesson is POM. So let's press the right mouse button on Content Browser and pick Quixel Content. Find a brick material. In my case, it's brick wall. Download it. Move all these textures to the material graph by pressing the left mouse button and connect them just like I did. So what's the difference between them? The texture with usual colors without any information about light is albedo. It belongs to base color. It gives colors that we need to see in a brick wall in this case. The blue texture belongs to normal because it gives depth. But the yellow texture, that we call RD, differs from others because it has a few textures inside in different channels and we are going to use some of them. RD is ambient occlusion, roughness, displacement. That's why we connect it like this. So I created more nodes and I'm going to explain each one of them. Constant is a node that wants us to give a numerical value. But this one is a parameter. To make a parameter from constant, press the right mouse button on this node, then press convert to parameter and then name it. This node is really important and without this node, parallax effect won't appear. As you see, we connected parallax occlusion mapping to the textures, but we also connected pixel depth offset of both sides. We did it because otherwise we won't have any POM effect. Height ratio, which is parameter of one vector constant, controls values of our height map. In other words, controls how much POM this material will be. We will write 0.3 as a default value, and we are going to change it in the material instance that we are going to create later, because everything depends on the textures that we use. Minimal steps and maximum steps. Values for making POM smooth. The more steps we have, the more smooth it becomes. It's like the modifier subdivision in Blender. Texture coordinate controls scaling of the texture. Create another node and connect it to multiply. This node multiplies to connected values. Create another node and connect it to. Now you can scale it. We need texture coordinates and the scale depends on the scene you're creating. Channel is a four vector constant. To create it you need to write not just constant but constant four vector. This node controls which channel is going to be provided to parallax occlusion mapping. We're going to use B channel, which means we have to make it completely blue. So it should be 0, 0, 1, 0. Also we used the node append because parallax occlusion mapping expects us to give value of constant for vector. That's why you have this V4. And since four vectors constants have alpha channel, we give the color, which is B channel. So we did it. In the end of this video right now, I'm going to give you a test and also I'm going to give you later a few important things to remember. And thank you for your attention.